After explaining why doing parametric analysis, I want to answer the question, how do we do it? Let me walk you through the whole process of starting from an individual simulation to a standardized engineering process that can be published to a larger user group. The starting point is your major simulation model. As I mentioned, the level of complexity might vary a lot, for example, single or multi-physics solution. In the next step, you think about the parameters. What would you like to change and how do you like to measure the performance of your system? Once this is clear, you can manually vary them step by step. There are platforms like ANSYS Workbench or ANSYS Electronic Desktop, which are parametric environments by themselves, where you just choose parameters and run different designs. This approach is also useful for testing your model with some parameter combinations. Can the geometry be created? Is the meshing successful? Does the model converge? But we learned before, we need to find a systematic and automatized way to do parametric analysis, and we have two main tasks to conduct. Process integration and design optimization that we will discuss now. The next necessary step is to automate all manual steps because in parametric optimization, we want to analyze hundreds of designs. This has to be done automatically and we call this process integration. It connects ANSYS, third-party and in-house tools to automated simulation workflows. For the subsequent design optimization, you can use a library of design exploration algorithm packages in an easy to use module that can be connected to process integration. You may start with the design understanding and exploration phase. With the help of a sensitivity analysis, you can investigate the parameter importance and reduce complexity by focusing only on the relevant parameters. Automatically generated response surfaces, meta models, help you to understand your CAE model under varying parameters and can be used in subsequent optimization. Design improvement. Once you learn about your design and know the options, you can conduct an optimization with the relevant parameters. After you find your best design, you check the design quality with a robustness and reliability analysis. For that, we need to assume a scattering for all relevant parameters that occur in production, manufacturing, or the environment. If the design is not robust, you must go back to optimization and find a new optimum. Robust design. If the design quality is fine, you successfully found a robust design. So, robustness evaluation is the key methodology for a safe, reliable, and robust product. The combination of optimization and robustness evaluation leads to a robust design optimization strategy. That means that an optimized and simultaneously robust design is identified. All type of PIDO analysis can be published as apps, either a pure process integration or a parametric variation. The advantage is that the entire organization can benefit from workflows provided by CAE experts. Important to say is, this is not a strict sequential procedure. Here are three examples. The automation of the CAE process will always be a necessary step. But then, you may add a sensitivity analysis and optimization and end the process. Sensitivity analysis and optimization methods can also be applied to conduct a model calibration. This means to identify important model parameters to find the best fit between simulation and measurement results. Or you conduct an optimization and publish the workflow as an app. The methods depend on your PIDO task, so you can understand ANSYS OptiSlang as a toolbox and you choose for a specific 
Parametric Analysis, The Tools Need.